hey guys so this time i tried to make a dry clay trace and unfortunately the big one didn't come out the way i expected you can see it's broken and it's really rough and uneven surface well i like to explore new things in art and i'm so looking forward to learn ceramic art for now i'm just trying my hand on a dry clay the small one is quite smooth and the way i wanted it to be now i'm going to make these to look better we need some different size brushes and acrylic paints i'm not sure what exact color i'm going to make but i know what colors i want to mix so first i'm adding blue then green but little less than blue my friend gave me this cute cup I'm going to need some water in it. And I'm just going to mix these two first. Then I'm adding a little bit more blue and white. So, now is our color is ready. I'm going to start painting the small one first. I'm going to let it dry now. I'm adding more green to it and white. Now let's start painting the big one. I know it has so many cracks and so uneven and imperfect, but for me imperfection is a new perfection. I like it this way more. acrylic color for making some leaf veins to use white acrylic color for hand spraying white dots on them I'm 
so happy with their look. You can use mod podge for ceiling. I've used it on the smaller one only. It gives you a very smooth and shiny look. Plus it protects the color from fading. I didn't apply it on the big one as I like its rough texture. I hope you got some inspiration from this to make any imperfect thing perfect in your own way.